politics with your morning coffee this morning. New rules at Starbucks could stir up some continued debate. The company's CEO has written an open letter asking people to leave their guns at home. Jonah Kaplan joins us live from a Starbucks in Shorewood to tell us why. Hi, Jonah. Hi, good morning, Susan and Vince, and a pleasant good morning, everyone. That's right. Come on in, bring your laptop, bring your newspaper, bring your money, but do not bring your gun. That's the message in a direct letter from the CEO of Starbucks, Howard Schultz. Schultz calls the gun debate uncivil and even threatening, and it makes customers uncomfortable. He puts some of the blame on pro-gun activists who hold meetings at Starbucks called Starbucks Appreciation Days. People are grateful that they allow guns. Schultz says he wants stores kept out of the issue. We ask you, the shopper and the consumer, what you think about it. Well, I think it's a good idea. Um, you know, I feel a little safer if guns are not allowed everywhere that I go. Um, you know, I understand some people may want to carry guns to protect themselves, but when I'm shopping, I would rather know that I didn't have other armed people um, walking around me because you never know, accidents could happen as well. So keep the conversation going. We want you to chime in on our Facebook page at TMJ4. This is Jonah Kaplan for TMJ4. All right, thank Jonah. Guys. Thank you very much. We'll have to get his microphone fixed for his next hit. It was I not suggest new battery. Maybe that's is that a battery problem. issue? Yeah, probably. It's a battery issue. Next up on Live at Identified Daybreak it. on today's TMJ4. Vice President's niece has got some explaining to do coming up the act that put her on the wrong side of the law. Plus, meet a